The Weather Authority's secret weapon against severe storms. The most cutting-edge weather technology in northeast Florida and south Georgia. Richard, uh, mm, doesn't look all that good, but <laughs> you summed it up right there. Mm, you want to go outside and play? Mm, yeah, you want to ride that bike home from school? Mm, and that's that. why, yeah, we've got uh, rain, even some thunderstorms. One of them just turned severe. Let me take you to that one in St. Johns County. This is where we left off with. In addition to that, we've also got another flood warning here as these are slowly lifting to the north. So these are kind of scooting off, and this um, thunderstorm actually is a little bit more of an anomaly than what we're seeing across the rest of the area because our frontal boundary is sitting to the south and we've got that northeasterly flow but as you can see our thunderstorm cluster the head of the thunderstorm here is starting to lift after we saw more of that locally heavy rain we've already seen a couple of stretches here that have exceeded four inches from Putnam into St. Johns County so these will reach all the way up to and around Green Cove so you've got the Shands Bridge in between uh, Walk Hill you've got just a couple of minutes and then it's over toward Palmo Florence and I mentioned Green Cove about 16 minutes here so this will take is closer to about 430 up to around 445 as the thunderstorm cluster will move past the Shands Bridge and along 13 over toward the um, uh, Rivertown area as it will move back over also into the um, what's the uh, Greenleaf area as it will continue to spread back into the white and black fords. This is what we're talking about with the heaviest of the rain, at least what we've been watching. We did have some pretty locally heavy amounts also in Nassau and Duval counties. I was telling you that we saw some areas that were as much as three, but this is a six hour window, so it's already started counting backwards from that one that expired at 315, but still showing what's almost two inches of rainfall to about an inch and a half as we get to downtown. Just to put this into motion, you can see that these are kind of drifting off to the south, heading over to areas that will take us in and around Keystone Heights. Meanwhile, while our collection with the heaviest downpours, there's just nothing to track because everything is sitting in one spot except for this little area here that is now lifting to the north and up toward uh, Green Coast Springs. Highway 301 from Lottie southward here into Stark. You're going to see some of the wet weather. It's going to be another ride home with the wipers on. And it's the same idea as we get to Highway 301 connecting to US 1 at Callahan as we've got some of those deeper downpours and you can see that these are slowly following the northeasterly flow which will push them away from the beaches and away from the 95 corridor. One last look here as we take you over to Alachua County. Heaviest starts at Williston over toward Chiefland and continues southward. Our flood warning that we started with will continue through six o'clock and I'll get the update on the uh, fresh one that's showing up. 22 mile an hour winds out of the east northeast 81 degrees right now and you can see the wet ground cover and I figured we'd use a couple of of our cameras here out of St. John's County and it's the same story whether we're there around the uh, White Room or here at Guy Harvey Resort in the St. Augustine Beach at 81 degrees. More rain to come. Temperatures are going to continue with below normal hovering around the upper 70s to the lower 80s but the real story is going to be the rain and rounds of it that will continue here through Friday, Saturday and into the upcoming weekend with some of these slow movers equating to what we see right now and that's the locally heavy rain and some temporary flooding. 70s will start today. We actually bottomed out at 73 this morning. 60% chance still has that jump on Sunday to 70%. And then we'll start to step the volume down as we look ahead to the beginning of the work week. But under those cloudy skies, Tarek, we'll stay out of the 90s. We've got a nice stretch here that will keep us in the 80s. It's temperate, but we'll be dealing with those heavy showers and storms. Thank you, Richard.